Hallelujah and good morning. Uh, before we come to the end of the month of August, year 2023, allow me to bring forth a, sh uh, a, a short message uh, for my nation, Kenya. Just allow me, uh, by the grace of God, uh, somebody said, Prophet, you should not be saying allow me. Yes, I'm speaking to the country, uh, the command of God. I want to just clarify one, two, three things, and the name of the Lord will be glorified. Hallelujah. Now, nothing will stop God from, uh, you know, doing what he has purpose to do with the nation of Kenya or for the nation of Kenya. Nothing can stop him. Nothing can hinder him. Nothing can delay the process of God. So I've been asking us to, particularly the, um, the people who are writing the spirit, let us be very careful about the hijacking spirit. We have uh, the case scenario of what happened in Egypt. You know, um, you know, Pharaoh, uh, you know, contracts, you know, a secretary, the midwives to mess up with the destinies uh, of the children of Israel. And the male, every male child born was meant to be, I mean, to be killed. And the agenda of the enemy. Now, those are hijacking spirits. The hijacking spirits, you know, meant to deter or to mess up with what God is doing for our people. Amen. Because when the male child is killed, the seed of a human being is messed up with. And uh, I thank God for Sifra and Pua. You know, they couldn't go that direction because these are midwives who feared God. Amen. Hallelujah. This is what we are seeing, you know, when Jesus was born, you know, held is giving. Uh, you know, an instruction, a command as a king uh, that, uh, you know, male child, you know, I mean male children who, um, you know, of a certain age should also be uh, eliminated. Hallelujah. Now, the target was baby Jesus. And you remember uh, when he, uh, you know, saw those men who are going to see, when he saw the star and uh, the wise men passing there, uh, you know, he spoke to them and told, told them, when you go and see, come back and tell me so that I can also go and worship him. The, the intention of um of hell was not to worship Jesus as per se. His intention was you know was evil. He wanted to, you know, he he wouldn't have allowed another king to live when he was still alive. Hallelujah. And God is so amazing. He did not allow that to happen to baby Jesus. Hallelujah. So the same case is I mean is happening in the nation of Kenya right now. Uh, we have too much of human activities and uh, there are people I told you last time uh, there are people who are seated in high places you know people who began in the spirit but they have contracted you know their lives or they, they have covenanted their lives to other kingdoms and what they are doing they know that the nation of Kenya is in the verge of breaking forth in the long-awaited revival and now what they are doing is occupying the atmosphere of the country with a lot of human activities and a lot of these are covered up in the name of the Lord and this is where I'll urge the remnants of God's people in the country be still and know that Jehovah is God. Not every conference is your conference in this hour. Because let me tell you, the minute you interact with this kind of spirit, you know, the, the Lord is calling them where I'm sitting, the spirit of God is calling them strange fire. They are strange fires. The minute you dine with them, the minute you uh, fellowship with them, there is what is called a spirit of impartation. They will impact, you know, whatever they are, they are, they are whatever the agenda of the hour is. And so we are going to have a lot of human activities covered up in the name of the Lord, you know, because of the assignment and the agenda of God for the nation in this hour. So you must be very careful. Not every gathering is your gathering now. Because let me tell you, there are so many people who don't know um, where they are and what is happening, and they don't know who is who. Because uh, we are not, we are, we, we we don't want to labor, you know, to test the spirit. So and uh, these things are not just happening in the country of Kenya. They happen uh, in Kenya. They're happening all over in the world because of the season we are in, and uh, we must be very very alert in our spirit and that's why i've been asking us if you feel a prompting in your spirit it may not be very clear but if you're not comfortable with it kindly leave it if you're not comfortable with it because why we are read we are spiritual beings we are read by the spirit of god and we must be uh, we, i mean we must allow the lord to order our steps in the ways of righteousness and uh, in the name of jesus hallelujah so and uh, let me tell you uh we are going to have you know uh 
uh, massive, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, visitation of, uh, you know, of foreigners in the country of Kenya and, and, and the continent of Africa. You are going to see foreigners flooding, you know, covered up in the church. I don't say all of them are bad, but in the midst of the good ones, we are having a counterfeit coming, uh, but in Africa and they are on a, on an assignment because why? It is time for Africa to be restored to the purposes that God ordained for her from the beginning. Let me tell you, you know, Africa is coming from a place of oppression. Africa is coming from a place of, um, you know, being disregarded. You know, Africa is coming from a place, uh, you know, where we have a lot of minerals, but we don't enjoy them. Other people come and mine and go and uh, you know, enjoy them. And uh, you realize in some of these countries like DRC Congo, our people have become like purpose. You know, they, they have become like, um, you know, slaves. You know, they are, they are casual rebels, yet they are supposed to be enjoying whatever is, you know, whatever inheritance God has given them in their country. So th these tables are already turned in the spiritual realm, and what you are going to see is that Africa is now going to speak as one voice, and that's why I've been preparing you. You know, what God is going to do is God is bringing a new breed, you know, a new set of breed altogether of leadership that is going to air out, that is going to speak out, that is going to be very bold in the name of Jesus. I don't want to mention the names, but you are going to see uh, some of the nations, you know, uh, you know, and some of the uh, president from other continents uh, desiring to be associated with the continent of Africa. You are going to see that, and, and they want to be a part of uh, of what God is doing. And they are going to, you know, to to, to kind of begin supporting the continent uh, because they really want to be a part of that. This is all orchestrated by God because God is at work in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So Africa arise. Hallelujah. Africa arise. Oh my God. Africa arise. Hallelujah. There is a, a kind of a readership that is already faced up. I mean faced out in the in the continent and you're going to see wow, new faces, new voices all together. And this is also what you're going to see in my country, Kenya. Women arising, young people arising. And many of these people have not gone through with any preparation of any man. It is new wine. This one is the process of God. And John chapter 2, this one is purely the process of God. God has been working on them, speaking to them. You are going to see young children speaking tongues and prophesying the country. You know, the gift of healing restored is restored in the country. And let me tell you, it is not in the masses what God is doing in the, in the nation of Kenya. Nobody will receive the glory and say, I prepared them, I equipped them. This is purely the operation of God in the name of Jesus. Nobody will take the glory. This is purely the workings of God. And that's, that's what I've been preparing you. The move of God in the country of Kenya is not breaking where you think. It's breaking in the hands of young men and young women all over in the country. God is, uh, is causing an arising of very bold young men and women. And God is connecting them to your prophetic midwives, people who are going to mentor them and work with them and pave their way for them. Because let me tell you, the nation of Kenya has entered into a moment where God is bridging between the old and the new. God is bridging between the old and the new. And let me tell you, between the old and the new, God has already equipped a certain apostolic and prophetic company that is going to start in there and cut the, that prophetic cord, cut the, 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 the apostle record, and usher in the new move of God in the name of Jesus. It's not about what you think you know. It's a new set of operation in the country by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Sharama zika tarama zika. The Holy Spirit of God is all over where I'm seated in my house. And, and I thank God for what the Lord is doing. It's a new thing altogether. It's a new season altogether in the name of Jesus. So uh, I'm, I just want to make a warning. I want to make a warning to the government of the nation of Kenya and the Kaidre. When you get hold of this word, share it aloud to the to, to your to your platforms. I, I'm not able to. I don't have an access to the authorities of the country, but I want to release this word, Kaidre. When you get it, you can share it. Now listen to me, the government of Kenya. I still want to make a warning. 
there. It is the will of God for the current government to be there because God honors authorities. The Bible says there is no authority that can be unless it is ordained of God. Now, whatever is there right now in the nation, it is ordained of God. Let me tell you, government of Kenya, kindly avoid any diversion. If you try, I've been warning you from the beginning, anything you try to do against the purpose and the agenda of God for the country right now, it is going to throb and it is going to cause you a lot of stress and it is going to cause you a lot of strain. And I've been warning you from the beginning, don't bring that strain to the citizens of the nation. Don't bring that strain to the poor people, to the middle class people. Don't bring the strain you know, to the, to the, to the people who are, are trying to make their ends meet in life. Don't do that. So align yourself to the will and the purposes of God. And it has been my prayer as a prophet of God in the country of Kenya that God takes to our state house the likes of Josephs of our time, you know, people who are not going before the president, you know, to give an advice because of what he can give them, because of what they need him to do for them, but because they have an agenda of God in their hearts. People who not go for envelopes, people who not uh, bow for food and, and money, you know, hallelujah. We don't see that from the beginning in the Bible. We, d we never saw, you know, you know, people like Prophet Samuel, we never saw him dying with David. We never saw. That's why he, you know, he was able to maintain, you know, that respect, and he was able to maintain the, you know, I mean, the godly council. We never saw Jesus, you know, eating with the kings, uh, you know, in his life. We, we did not see that. Hallelujah. That does not, mean, I mean, does not mean he, he was not attending, you know, according to the purpose of God or in his ministry. You know, he was attending to these big people like Zacchaeus, you know, a tax collector, and you can mention them. Hallelujah. The, 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 um, the, what I'm looking for that word, you know, the, cent the centurion, hallelujah, these who are well-to-do people in a nation, hallelujah, and, and let me tell you, and the people like Jairus and all those people, hallelujah, now let me tell you, there is a praise for a priest and there is a praise for, 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 for politicians, those, those things must be demarcated, must be demarcated, that's why we have been saying, there is a praise a politician, even if it is who, cannot start, you know, in an in, in a, in a, in a, in a, in in-house of worship, they cannot share the same altar. They cannot start there. They cannot. They cannot. It, 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 is, it has never been that way and it will not be. And these are the errors we are correcting. It does not matter who, where the priest is, is, is starting to minister to the church. You know, even look at the word of God. Look at what was happening to Zacharias and all those people. Look at the apostles. You know, you, they cannot. There's a priest of the priest and there's a priest of a politician. Even if it is who, even if it is a king or a queen, they cannot, he, he, he or she cannot address the nation or speak to the nation unless he or she is also a part of the priest. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. These are the things we are correcting. And uh, because now we are, we, are, we are bringing so many spirits on the praises, I mean on the altars, where we are, we, are, we are purporting to be feeding the flock because we are lacking the sensitivity. And this one has to be maintained that way. Hallelujah. Oh my God. That's why you see, uh, you know, the prophets of Band and Elijah, you know, Elijah had to work on the altar afresh. But why? Because those are distinct altars. They are very, very distinct altars in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You never saw Elijah, you know, feeding with Ahab and Jezebel. You did not see that kind of operations. You never saw that kind of operations. Hallelujah. And that's why, uh, you know, the man of God was able to correct Saul. You know, the prophet of God was able to correct Saul. Remember that story of the prophet with a, a man, a, a, um, a, you know, an army officer called uh, Naman. You know, the man of God did not even lay hands on the man. Hallelujah. The army officer. Why? It's not about your operation. Hallelujah. It's not about your operation. It's it's, it's about the counsel of God. There is a praise for the anointed vessel of God, and there is a praise for other people in the name of Jesus. And other people, including even the authorities in nations, in the name of Jesus. Now, Jesus Christ, that's a, a, by the way, that has come in my spirit, and I needed to bring forth that correction. Amen. So, that's the kind of a brief God is raising. We hold our authorities, but there's a praise for us, and there's a praise, uh, oh my God, there's a praise, you know, for the others. There's a praise, you know, there's a, there 
their times. You don't have to take any gift from anybody. Hallelujah. And now, in you know, hallelujah, because why? Let me tell you, 2005, the Spirit of God told me many servants of God are going to be trapped by gifts. You know, they are going to be trapped by gifts. And if you are a lover or, you know, you know, because we're in a season of our, I mean, First John chapter 2, you know, the world is full of the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. You're going to really be messed up in the name of Jesus. That's why the Bible says, Godliness and contentment is the greatest gain. We are alert in the spirit, and I pray that you also remain very alert in the spirit. And I, I don't mean that every gift is bad, but if the Lord says it is not time to receive gift, now I mean a Gehazi, it remains not that time. Hallelujah. So that we don't contract leprosy for nothing, because we don't need it now. We don't have that much energy and time. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want to make a warning. Anything the government of Kenya will try to do, unless it is the purpose and the will of God for the prophetic destiny of the country right now, it will flop, I mean it will flop, it will attract a lot of strain and a lot of stress. It will not go anywhere. Because now, and I want to make a warning, because I want to read some, some scriptures, those who have been given uh, places of uh, influence and uh, you know places of governance, kindly make sure you are not laboring to remove somebody from any position for your own personal gain. Because the Spirit of God has been speaking to me for the past two days about a lot of hidden demonic conspiracy, you know, against you know some people in some places so that they can be removed and somebody want to fix their own people. I want to start as a prophet in this country and I want to make a warning. Kaidre, I urge you by the masses of God because the Lord has told me he is going to serve his justice speedily. He's going to serve his justice in the country speedily. So if you do yourself good, if God has given you an opportunity, maybe a CS or whichever opportunity God has given you and the position God has given you, kindly make sure there is nobody's father, there is nobody's husband or wife, there is nobody's tribe, you know, I mean, there is no tribe, a certain tribe, somebody is going to be removed, you know, somebody will get some, you know, some, um, you know, some conspiracy against them and remove them from their presence of work where they have been getting daily bread you know some companies will be shut some businessmen will be repressed from their businesses and people are going to lose their jobs you know who have been getting their daily bread from there now god has told me to say particularly from this august going down forward now god has commanded for his speed and let me tell you as i told you when we were crossing over in uh you know 2022 uh december to 2023 i prepared you this time god is serving his justice let me tell you god God will serve justice in our state house, in our parastatos, in, in, in our counties, in our county governance, I mean gov gov governance offices. You know, God will serve justice anywhere. In TSC, God will serve justice everywhere. Let me tell you, I'm where I am, the Spirit of God is here with me. I came to make a warning. God will serve justice. And, and because there are some people who are buying, uh, you know, companies and buying so many things. And what they are doing now is to cause the people who have been working there to lose their job so that they can fix their own. Let me tell you, this direction is evil. Whether it is in a hospital, it is evil. The Lord is saying it is evil and he's going to serve justice in all those places in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, Kenya, you are in a place where no evil will go unnoticed. No evil will go under the carpet. No evil will be done and it will not cause an uproar in the country. Let me tell you, it is not business as usual. God is out to punish the evil doers in this country the puppet the, oh my god the, the people who instigate evil the people who you know conspire evil god is on your case it does not matter the position you are holding does not matter who you are does not matter anything the men and the women of god who have covenanted their altars and their lives to the kingdom of darkness you are killing the children of god for human sacrifice and the other evil things you are doing let me tell you your days are numbered. Your days are numbered. God does not share his glory with any other. Let me tell you, God is another of times and season and the season where Kenya is right now. God will speedily serve his justice in the name of Jesus. 
So if you are conspiring, anybody conspiring for any evil, kindly don't conspire. Let me tell you, we shall have court cases one after the other, and some people will be repressed from their places of authority, you know, even by God's own means. Let me tell you, we're going to have a lot of permanent exit of some lives. We are going to have a lot of reshuffle. We are going to have a lot of resignation. We are going to have a lot of, you know, retirement. We are going to have that. And this one is God, God and working things out to fix his order in this country in the name of Jesus for the sake of the poor in the nation for the sake of the widows and the orphans in the country and the, for, for the sake of the Aryans hallelujah you know those are the four people God is very much concerned about and let me tell you nobody will go away with it nobody will go away with it so I could see some board meetings and people conspiring now we need to do something and remove this one here and fix, fix our own because we need now to learn this here let me tell you all those things you are saying and organizing God is hearing because if you can hear them as prophets God is hearing hallelujah God is hearing and let me tell you no stone will go and it turned in this country in Jesus name so I want to read the word of God to back up this prophetic word I want to read uh, the word of God in the book of Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 16 some seven things that God hates I'll read them and I'll not explain I'll read them and I'll not explain hallelujah so the Bible says the, uh, these six things the Lord hates these six things the Lord hates yes seven are uh, an abomination to him. Now the Bible talks about a proud look, a lying tongue, a lying tongue, hallelujah, hands that shed innocent blood, hands that shed innocent blood. And I hear the Spirit of God say, in other nations, some conspiracies will go through. But in the nation of Kenya this time, there is no conspiracy. Whether it is done in the state house, whether it is done where, whether people have gone to some hotels in Nanyuki or whatever, no conspiracy will go uh, you know, nobody will go away with any demonic conspiracy in this country. Nobody. It will not sail through. Hallelujah. So I'm talking about a proud look, a lying tongue. These are the things that God hates. Hands that shed innocent blood. The Bible talks about that, uh, Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 18. A heart that devises wicked plans. Are you seeing this? A heart that is why, why I came on board. A heart that devises wicked plans. We do this, we conspire this, we stop this, we do this, so that we can remove this person. The agenda, even a whole nation can be caused to suffer. And the agenda is one person or two people or three people from a certain place. Let me tell you, you not go away with it. You not go away with it. So the Bible says, a heart that devises wicked plans. Let me tell you, from the state house to every village of the nation of Kenya, even if it is a dry village, very interior, let me tell you, any heart that is devising wicked plans, God is on your case. The Bible talks about this, feet that are shift in learning to evil. Now, those people who are, uh, are complying to, 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 to be comp uh, accomplices of these evil deeds, you are not going to get away with it. The Bible talks about a false witness who speaks lies. I'm talking to our court corridors and our judges and our magistrates, our Supreme Court and every court, High Court and every court. Let me tell you, this time around, it is not business as issue. Because of the edge time assignment of the nation of Kenya before God, you will not go away with it. It's not business as usual. Hallelujah. A false witness who speaks lies. And the other one, the last one is, and one who sows discord among brethren. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, those are the seven things that God has. So Kenya, hear me and hear me clearly. I'm just a voice of God in the country by the grace of God. It is not business as usual. God has commanded for his speed and he will serve for his justice in the nation speedway for his own glory in Jesus' name. God bless you. Let us fear God. Let us fear God. We shield the nation of Kenya by the blood of Jesus. We are shielding the country by the prophetic word that is already in the atmosphere. We are shielding and we are declaring whatever God has purposed for the nation of Kenya. By the way, as we declare it, it's already confirmed by the word of God. In Isaiah 55, the Bible says, when the word of God has come out of his mouth, it can never return to him void. It has to accomplish his purposes to which he sent it forth for in the name of Jesus. So let us continue studying our church. Our, our praise is to pray for those who are in authorities. Even as we are correcting them, we are praying daily. We are studying the gap for the nation, but that does not hinder us from speaking the will and the counsel of God in the name of Jesus. Let me, can I surprise you? 
you there is no there is nothing conspired against any place in the nation of kenya and whether you speak it or you gather in a board meeting you even don't want to speak through phones you gather and conspire and deliberate even if you dish out money out god is revealing these things and let me tell you nobody will go away with it it is not a season like any other and i want uh, dr william ruto our excellency the president you are deputy and every cs and all the governors and everybody in your government let me tell you let me tell you with much humility but in boldness you will not get away with any evil anybody around you it may be one two or three four people whether a chief in your government nobody will get away with any conspiracy that is evil in the nation of kenya god bless you